Thank you, Speaker. My question today again is for the government leader in the Senate. Senator Gold, it's not only truckers who are opposing restrictions that are no longer supported by science. Canada's two main airlines, WestJet and Air Canada, have joined with Pearson Airport in Toronto to call for an end to the current mandatory PCR testing for fully vaccinated passengers upon arrival. Canada is the only G7 country that continues to demand pre-parture and on-arrival PCR testing. The CEO of WestJet, Harry Taylor, said recently, Canada remains stagnant in its approach and continues to make travel inaccessible and punitive for Canadians and inbound tours. WestJet cut 20% of its flights in March, and Air Canada has reportedly cut over 40% of its flights for next month. Leader, when, when will the Trudeau government catch up to the rest of the G7 and present a path forward for our airlines and Canada's entri entire travel and tourism sector? Senator Gold. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator, for the question. Uh, Canada is proud, and the government of Canada is proud of the measures that it has taken since the beginning of the pandemic to protect Canadians. We're proud of the ability of the government to procure the vaccines and for Canada to be uh, uh, a world leader in the degree of vaccination. This pandemic is causing enormous frustration and difficulty for individuals and for the uh, <coughs> sectors and the, and the companies uh, to which you refer, and the government is very much aware of that. It is constantly evaluating the appropriate policy adjustments to make in light of the evolution not only of scientific understanding, but the evolution of the pandemic and the wave or waves that may still be to come. This chamber should rest assured that the government is constantly evaluating and reassessing uh, what uh, its uh, policy positions uh, will be going forward uh, and announcements when appropriate will be made. Senator Platt. You know, it is sad that we can't at least touch on the answers and say, I don't know if I don't know. That would be an appropriate answer. The leader of the opposition in the other place said to the Prime Minister, Prime Minister, you can't, you can't take science and put it on the table when it suits you and take it off when it doesn't suit you. The Prime Minister has constantly been saying everything he's do doing is scientific. Science now says what we're doing is not right. And he doesn't change. And you don't have an answer. You hardly even touch on the question. This was as bad as the minister yesterday, when he didn't even touch on the question. Senator Gold, WestJet, Air Canada, and Pearson Airport in Toronto are also calling for an end to mandatory quarantines for asymptomatic travelers awaiting test results upon arrival. Leader, most families can't afford lengthy quarantines. They don't want to hear that the government cares about them. They want to hear, what are you doing to show you care about us? When, leader? When? Give us a date. If not today, give us a date when we come back. When will this government, this Trudeau government, end this ineffective and costly restrictions that we have? When, leader? Here, here. Gold. <clears throat> Thank you for your question. I'm sorry that uh, my answers are not uh, satisfactory to you. The fact remains that the, the fact remains that the government is in an ongoing uh, consultations and discussions with uh, its scientific advisors and others. Science is not a monolithic uh, answer. This is not grade three arithmetic. There is diversity of views within the scientific community. Science, one might even say, is more of an art than a science. That said, the government is determined to... That is... That said, the government remains committed to making the appropriate policy choices based upon, uh, upon the best scientific advice that it gets and will announce whatever changes, if any, uh, in due course when appropriate. Senator.